hello students this is third part of my lecture on uh, types of editorials uh, here on screen you see uh, i have an editorial that was published in dawn newspaper its title is bfuj at 70 what i am going to do is in order to uh, explain uh, the type of editorial which is the imagine with me structure I am going to show you this editorial and I'll scroll down my uh, screen. If you still have trouble because I'm not sure how it will be in the recording, if you still have trouble uh, seeing what I have on my screen, I will upload a copy of this editorial on Moodle along with the recorded lecture. So you can, you can download it from there and then follow uh, what I say uh, from, uh, the, from the copy of the editorial that you, uh, you will have on your laptop. All right, now this editorial, which was published in Dawn, it talks about uh, the freedom of journalism uh, in Pakistan, the freedom, the level of freedom that journalists in Pakistan uh, experience. And PFUJ is Pakistan Federal Union of Journalists. They are celebrating 70th anniversary. And Dawn wrote an editorial uh, in this, uh, uh, on, on this anniversary. And he has talked about, the writer here has talked about the situation of freedom of expression for journalists. Uh, the freedom of expression that journalists face and experience in Pakistan, this is the subject, this is the topic of this, uh, this uh, editorial. And you see here in the whole writing, when you read the whole writing, I'm not going to read it to you, I'll let you read it because uh, you will have a copy of this editorial on Moodle and you can also see some parts of the editorial on screen. When you read it, you will see that writer is talking about the situation of freedom that journalists have. He is actually drawing a picture for his readers. He is kind of letting them imagine uh, the situation that okay we'll see what is happening here and at the end he says it is time common sense prevailed and all PFUJ factions realize it is only through journalist unity that press freedom can be collectively defended now this in this editorial we see that the writer has implicitly uh, argued that now the time has come that journalists, they join uh, uh, together in their efforts of uh, defending the freedom of speech, defending the freedom for journalism, for, for the field of journalism and for journalists as well. I think when you read this example, this actually explains a very good uh, example related to the Imagine With Me situation. I'll stop this lecture uh, here again. And uh, in the next part of the lecture, I'll be back at uh, my PowerPoint slides. I'll go back to my PowerPoint slides.